Hello and welcome to the channel. Notice that my little banum there is not too happy. He's got an axe and he's coming for you. That's what's gonna happen if you dislike the video and give it a thumbs down later. He's gonna come for you like Chucky. Okay, let's get right to the point. I want to share with you today some tips that helped me along my journey. I rifled, siphled, siphoned. I'm French, Mustafa. I went through some different guides, and they were all leaving out bits of information, and I'm not really good at explaining things, so I'm going to try and get to the point real quick. I'm going to help you, hopefully, or I'm going to get a lot of negative feedback in the comment section. I'm going to show you how to, uh, well, get the vault, the pole vault. That's, that's not a dildo, I promise. Uh, the uh, flimsy net. We're going to get the flimsy fishing pole. We're going to get the axe, the one that I just threatened you with a moment ago. And then how to get the vault and the shovel. Okay, so the beginner stuff. So on your first day, in which, by the way, you can skip through days by changing your Nintendo Switch's date and time. Uh, I don't really promote that, but I'm just being honest with you that that's what I did. And essentially, once you leave your home, which I had put over here, you're going to go back to Tom Nook. By the way, there's three camera modes. Isometric Diablo mode, the middle one, and the far one. But when you move, you can only go... You can only go this view or this view. This extreme view is only while you're stationary. And you do that with the right analog stick going up and down. See, that's the Diablo view, and I can move in the Diablo view. Now that balloon, I'm glad that that happened. I swear this wasn't planned. You need a slingshot for that, and that's going to come in time when you go see Little Jimmy. His name is Timmy, but I call him Little Jimmy in honor of one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, R-Truth, a.k.a. Ron Killings. You're going to have to buy a blueprint for a, spl a slingshot. A, sp a slingshot. Holy cow. And you're going to pop the balloon. and So I'm glad that that happened. I'm getting sidetracked. This is what happens when you have ADHD. So you're going to run in, in his tent. Man, this video is going to get a lot of thumbs down, but whatever. I really want to share with you guys and girls or whatever it is you identify as um, how to do this. So you're going to come and see Tom Hanks. And what's going to end up happening is he's going to go... But don't worry, because there's subtitles. It'll translate what I just said. He essentially is going to want you to collect five bugs, five little bibits, as we would say in French. Dare, dare. And he's going to maybe want you to fish as well. He's actually going to bring you through here which is like a DIY workshop, and he's going to explain to you how things work. And that's actually going to unlock the ability for you to learn recipes, like to actually read them and actually understand them. Because you can have them in your inventory, but you're not going to be able to use them until you talk to him and he runs you through. When he runs you through here, what's going to end up happening is he's going to get you to craft a flimsy fishing pole. Okay? And that takes five branches. This also takes five branches, so I recommend getting ten branches. To start off with a combination of these two you're gonna get the net but he's not gonna tell you to craft it so go back to the table you'll see that you have the net once you do that you're gonna go out and you're gonna go and you're going to fish and uh, capture butterflies they have to be five unique specimens because if they're the same, he's not going to count it as one of the five. And once you reach level... Once you reach level two. Once you give him a second unique specimen, that's when you'll get the axe. And then when you smack trees... When you smack... When you go to a tree that you haven't already smacked the shit out of... You'll get light wood and dark wood. And that's what you need to make your pole. Your wooden six foot dildo thing this thing which i haven't used yet i'm so excited to use it but i don't want it yet so you're gonna want to run around the easiest things to do is to catch the butterflies and i'm really hoping that there's some around so for example for example there we go 
you catch one of those, the yellow butterfly, right? So there's yellow. I ran out of room. Whatever. I'll worry about that after. So there's the yellow butterfly. There's a tiger one. It's like black and yellow, I think, and a white one. And that's the only three. Then you're going to have to fish. Now to fish, I finally cracked the code. Now I might fail, but that's not the point. It would help if we can find a fish. Okay, good. See see how it looks like a, like a turd floating in the toilet. Only this one moves. See the bigger part on the left? Throw your, your bobber in front of it. Not next to it, but in front of it. Notice how it's not reacting? Hit A. Throw it again. In front of it, so it can, you know, actually see it. Again, not next to it. I know, it's, it's fucking stupid. So do it again. Like that. Wait. Wait. Hmm? It's not quite biting it yet. Hold the A, because it bit it. See that? And it went, her. Well, anyways. I caught a yellow perch. Whatever. So you're going to do that. Blah, 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 blah. You're going to catch maybe three different fish or two different fish to three different butterflies. And that's what's going to happen. I really do apologize for this. Uh, oh, man. How do I not have room? You know what? Screw it. I don't care. This is taking too long. Once you've collected the five bugs... No, never mind that. Once you collect the five bugs, you're going to want to come back to Tom Nook. Okay? Go back to Tom Nook. Turn in the stuff. The rest of the stuff. Once you get the five stuff turned in... Yes, I am looking at my cheat sheet, which is going to be linked down below, by the way. You give him the five bugs. He's going to end up calling Blathers the... Um, the owl guy. You know, the owl guy. Ooh, ooh. That was a terrible impression. And that's why I'm stuck with 4,000 subs on YouTube. When he gives you the tent, you're going to set up shop for him somewhere. What is this, the doomsday apocalypse? Oh, it's just a balloon. You're going to grab... Hoo-hoo's... Towel. Towel. Tent. Hopefully he's got a towel on. And you're going to lay it down. Now, when you lay it down, you're going to have to wait an entire day. This is where I turned off my switch, or the game switched a clock ahead a day. Notice how it says at the bottom left that it's March the 22nd? Does it look like it's March the 22nd? Look at when this was uploaded, okay? I cheated. Once you go the next day after you've put the tent down, you're going to go in and talk to Hoo-Hoo. I'm calling him Hoo-Hoo because I actually forget what his name was. Blathers? Blathers? Whatever. And then he's going to go, Oh yeah, I need some more stuff because, you know, I want to set up shop. I want to make a, a museum. Blah, 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 blah. So he just, on the cuff in your phone, gives you the recipes automatically for the flimsy shovel and the vaulting pole. Another thing I should have mentioned in the beginning, but hopefully you're watching this before you're playing the game, don't sell the stones that you get. Because uh, you're going to need them to make an axe. You only need one stone. And you can smack rock to get stones. This is not like 99% of all video games where you actually have to um, have a mining pick for stone, get it, and a hatchet for, uh, for wood. You just go up to it. See that? And you pick up a stone. Whoops, don't kill the bug. Pick up the stone. Sometimes you can even find a, a little bit there. Pill bug, like that. I already donated one to Hoo Hoo there. But I can't carry anything else. Should I swap it with something else? Eh, just let him go. Let him go. What little... So what, he's Houdini now too? Or Shin Lim from America's Got Talent? And that's pretty much it. Now that I've got the vaulting pole, I don't think you understand how excited I am. Or maybe you do. Remember what I said earlier. Arr, give it a thumbs down and that's what you're getting. That was a tiger butterfly, by the way. Notice that was like black and yellow. Yeah. So they have to be unique. Again, the guide is a little bit vague, and I'm rambling on forever. 
But hopefully this was semi-entertaining. I'm not a comedian, although I'd like to think I am. Uh, why? Want to sell. What are you offering? Yeah, so that's just it. What am I offering? I don't really have much to offer. And my bags are full. Okay, this is boring. Uh, as, and when it comes to inventory, there's a way later. I didn't quite look into it. There's there's a way for you to go up to 40 slots, I think. Don't quote me on that. Put the axe away. See how you have two rows? I think it's 20. Let me just go see what I can donate to him. Let's see if who who wants my fishy. And then we'll go and we'll jump across the river. We'll quarantine ourselves on another part of the island. Oh, uh, see? I'm here to help. Who? See? That's his name. Who who? Blathers. I don't know. I don't really care to know what's wrong with his bladder. So he doesn't want this fish. He only wants the yellow perch. Who, who, who? Is that your brother? You know what I'm saying? This is undoubtedly a yellow perch. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your yellow perch? Yeah, no, I get it. I'm a little busy there. You mind? Another time, perhaps? Well then, let me assure you, we shall take very good care of your donation. We need 12 more. Yeah, because now at this point, to get everything going for him to get his license, he needs 15 in total. And I've already donated uh, 3, obviously. I did pass grade 3 math, so I can count to 3. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. Who? No, you're who. You're who who. I am Moros, the almighty undead rogue from the Karazhan raid in World of Warcraft. I am such a nerd. Hmm. I am gonna demo. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna demo the stick. I know you wanna see it. But I am going to save it for the next video. Like, I'm... I'm... See? That's how it works, just like that. But I don't want to explore yet, because that I want. But that was my first time. You saw it here. You saw it here on, on this channel. On this video, the first water poke. Maybe I can stab that fish right in the face. Yeah, it killed him. Yeah, it killed him. Oh, see? You can see the butterfly. See the yellow one over here? And then that one's the tiger one. Anyhow, I'm not practicing for the Olympics here. So I am going to end the video here. Like I said, if you like it, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down. And I already told you what was going to happen earlier. I know the joke is getting kind of old there. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. And if not, well, thanks for ruining my dreams of becoming the next big thing around here in the YouTube world. But thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.